Hey, y'all. Uh, hey. Um, <clears throat> Harris toe up, no pop on veneers. I just want to talk to y'all. Netflix seen the new um, Ramble. I saw it today. And if you haven't seen it, you want to watch it, then go watch it. Don't watch this video. Because I'm about to tell y'all what happened. So, Rambo was cool. He was living off a ranch and stuff with um, a lady, not his lady, but like a friend, older lady or whatever, and his niece. So his freaking niece um, had some friend in Mexico. And the friend in Mexico was like this chola girl or whatever who used to be, well, said that she used to be in trouble or whatever, and she was better now. So she said she found her father. So the little girl was intrigued because she wanted to find her father so the girl helped her find her father so she uh goes to mexico against the advice of her uncle which is rambo and the lady that she lives with, with i guess it's her guardian or something like that or a family member i don't know goes to mexico dumb idea good girl smart girl about to go to college so goes to mexico does actually meet the damn father the father is a whole asshole he's a buster or whatever so, of course, she's disappointed and hurt. So her little friend is like, um, you know, don't go home or whatever. Don't drive home like this. Don't drive back from Mexico like this or whatever. Let's go have a good time. Get your mind off or whatever. And then you go. Bad idea. That wasn't even an idea. The girl set her up. So she gets to the bar, gets to the club or whatever. Freaking don't ever go to a club in Mexico. Just don't do it. Young girl, by yourself, don't really know this girl. Don't ever go to Mexico by yourself. So, long story short, on that part, a guy there roofies her, because this is all set up, roofies her, she wakes up in a freaking hostel. So now she's a, free, a freaking sex slave, or whatever. Um, so, Rambo gets a word of it, get, not a word of her being a sex, sex slave and all like that, but the girl called the family and was like, oh... She went to go see her father and never came back home. Liar. So he goes to find her, of course. So he goes to find her. He finds a little girl um, who was supposed to be her friend or whatever. And she's wearing her bracelet. Wearing the little girl's bracelet or whatever. And he's like, where did you get that? And he, she's like, she haven't gave it to me. First of all, no, she didn't. Okay. Second of all, it's my, it was her her mother's bracelet. So she did what she would never give it to you. So he threatened to beat her ass if she didn't take him to the people because she was lying about everything so hold on y'all i got some ice no i don't want to let it go wait, wait. oh wait um make sure a little bit take him back to the club and show show him who she was talking to before she she you know got taken or whatever so she does and rambo sits back and watches him and the dude uh dips from the club or whatever with some girl and he's gonna do it to her in the truck he didn't but he opened the door like he was gonna do it to her or whatever and rambo shows up stabs him in his leg so if y'all if let me tell you right now disclaimer if you don't like a lot of violence and like graphic stuff don't watch certain parts of it because the movie itself like the story was cool but it was pretty damn uh, graphic for me and I don't remember Rambo being that graphic I, I was little though younger so I think I bit my tongue it hurts bit the tip of it anyway so he st stabs the guy's leg and then he did something right here I don't know but all I do know is he stuck his finger in there or something like that and I almost threw up but anyway ugh. that guy takes him to the main guys who have the little girls there's a lot of them probably about Maybe 20 little girls or whatever. Young girls, not little girls. They probably high school to college age. They beat up um, and stuff like that. But anyways, he doesn't, Rambo doesn't see his, his niece nor those girls yet. She just, he just takes them to the spot or whatever. And he gets his A whipped. I don't know exactly what happened because I left out. Or maybe my mama needed something. I don't know. But I didn't watch what they actually did to him, but they beat his butt. Because he going to walk up in there with a knife. He thought he was um, back in 1999 uh, or something. I don't know when the last ramble was. But you can't come to no gunfight with no knife. But anyway, it was a big knife. But they beat his butt. So they beat his butt. And they told him, we're going to leave you alive. Um, 
because this little girl that you're looking for, he has a picture in his hand. We're going to make you, make her suffer. And for the rest of your life while you're living, you're going to think about it that it's your fault or whatever. So they say that the little girls ain't nothing but a piece of property to them, this, that, and the other A, B, and C. Now I wasn't going to even look at her, but now I'm going to look at her. I'm going to make her suffer for what you did. So one of the brothers was like, you know, you should kill him or whatever. Don't leave him alive or whatever. But anyway, it's two brothers, two different opinions. He leaves him alive. So Rambo is off in the cut. He gets taken care of care of by this one lady the same kind of stuff happened to her like recently or whatever to her sister and so she took him in and took care of him for a second but all while he was she was taking care of him they was making a little girl suffer you know she was already already being passed around like it was like like me or whatever but then after that they mad at her now so they cut her face and then they put her on drugs or whatever probably heroin or something like that i don't know but they stuck her in her arm with a needle anyways he gets better from being cut up or whatever they did to him and he goes again to where they be at and found found them. Not the guys who did this. I'm sorry, y'all. It's about to get dark. So the lighting will be jacked up. I might continue tomorrow. I'll, we'll see. But anyway, find, finds just like the hostel, like where there's Johns and then the little girls. And um, he busting in doors, cutting up people, whatever, whatever. I'm not watching that part. But anyways, he finds his niece. He finds his niece and gets her up out of there. She's dehydrated. Her lips are... Her lips are um, uh, white she's got a cut on her face from when the fools cut her up or whatever and she just she's just out of it so he takes her and he's like we're gonna go home whatever whatever spoiler alert y'all had me toe up she died she died on the way home and i was devastated because it's just a movie ah she might have will be calling right now okay i'll get back with y'all in a minute i don't know if i should be over here. no damn it okay so anyway the way this camera is set up it's dark though so anyway so i'm just gonna finish i'm just gonna finish whatever so the little girl dies or whatever the the um his niece rambo's niece and she was saying i'm sorry and whatever else and she was closing her eyes and you know she was tired and dehydrated and effed so rambo was like you know i just need you to keep your eyes open I just need you not to close your eyes. So when he said that, I'm like, she's going to die or whatever. So I was devastated already. But when she actually did die, I don't know. I'm emotional right now, I guess. But I was devastated. So Rambo, excuse me, Rambo um, goes home and he tells the um, her caregiver or auntie or somebody, I don't know who she was to her, tells her what happened or whatever. She's devastated. And he tells her to move off, go somewhere else because he's about to um, move too from the ranch or whatever, but it's Rambo. So, you know, he ain't about to move nowhere. He about to kill them all. So when the lady leaves, he's setting up, um, tunnels and different things in his fortress that he's already at, like his ranch. There's already tunnels in there, but he's setting up like all kind of kill areas and stuff. And I'm like, why is he doing that? Because I'm thinking like, how is he going to lure them from Mexico back to his house? But so he goes, um, back to the lady who was helping him in the first place or whatever, uh, the lady who had her sister die in the same sex tra trafficking type of crap. Um, and I don't remember how he helped her because I think I stepped out for a second, um, to give me something to eat because my mama, um, I think she was resting and so I went to get a sandwich out of the kitchen or whatever and I came back in and I didn't care to see, like, all the bloody stuff so I just, um, pretty much, uh, Skip past that part, and like I said, I was in the kitchen. So I came back, and he was killing people. He was just killing the... I think he went back to the brothel or whatever, the hostel, and he was killing the John. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. Rambo is going to kill him, because they already killed the little girl. So he goes to the place where they're at, or I think one of the brothers' houses. That's what happened. He took one of the, went to the, one of the brothers' houses, and killed one of the brothers because it was two brothers in this business. He killed everybody up in there, cut the guy's head off or whatever, which was freaking gross. I didn't watch that part. But um, then he like stabbed um, his his niece's picture on that guy's chest. So whenever the brother found him, he knew, he knew who it was or whatever. So that's how he lured them back to his house. Dropped the damn head out the window on the ground or whatever. It was freaking gross. Um, they got there. You know, they chased him, of course. Or not chased him, but they, they ended up being where he was at. Uh, in his fortress or whatever, his ranch. And, um, he killed them all. He just freaking killed them all. Um, 
very bloody, very gory, whatever. He killed them all. End up killing the brother in a heinous way where he, like, um, freaking, like, put arrows through his uh, different uh, extremities, his arms, and then his legs and stuff like that. And then he freaking ripped his heart out. So I'm like, damn, Rambo, the hell? But, excuse me, he was there for revenge. So my gripe with the damn movie, my gripe with the movie is you killed them two dudes, right? The Chola girl who set your baby up, she's still living. So she's still going to set up some more kids, some more girls or whatever. Then there was a lady who was running, like she wasn't running it. But you know how there's always like a, a, a bottom B or whatever kind of B that like handles the new talent or handles the new new people or whatever. She, she's um, getting a girl rain, like uh, rounded up or whatever to go do their stuff or whatever. She should have died too to me because you are a special kind of evil because you're a woman. You should know how I feel. She probably came up in the same situation if she didn't, um, whatever. But it doesn't matter if she did or not. The fact that she was doing that willingly was effed. So she should have died. He should have went up and blew up the whole spot. Because what's going to happen is, I know it's a movie, y'all. So don't keep on judging me like, oh, it's, you putting too much on it. I'm trying to tell y'all my opinion of the movie. He should have went back to the spot and killed everybody. I know there's still, um, like, stuff don't end with that particular spot i know they would continue to go on but at least some girls who was there at that moment in time was going to be able to be saved they was going to be able to go home they were going to be effed in their minds they're going to be scarred and jacked up or whatever but at least they could leave you know what i'm saying like, i'm tired of movies showing like oh, i just got the bad guy i got my little person out my, my daughter or my son or whatever but this is like what about the other girls what about the the continuing um because rambo didn't have nothing left the only thing he left was a little girl or whatever, and she's gone. So I'm like, go kill them all. Go kill all of them. Kill the lady who was watching them. Kill who's ever left there with them. Kill all who was ever sleeping with them. You know what I'm saying? Because I think, for me personally, I ain't never been in it. Nothing like that. But I think slavery, um, I think death is better than slavery. I don't think you should ever be in something to where it's, because some things in life are worse than death. And I feel like that is like when you got to get beat and drugged up and dirty and nasty and sleeping all kind of fat, stanky, you know, I'm just saying, and I know y'all probably like, damn, you went morbid, but I, I believe that I don't think that you should stay, uh, being abused or stay being like heinous things happening to you because you're afraid of death. I'm like, I think you should choose death. I would. And I know I'm saying that because I ain't been faced with it, but I don't want to live in constant terror. I don't want to live in constant turmoil. I don't want to live in constant abuse. Um, I'd rather just go. I don't want to be here with that. I don't want you, like if, if something ever happens and I have to get kidnapped or something like that, I'm older now, so hopefully that's not my, ever going to be my situation, but uh, you kill me. I'm not going with you willingly. You're not about to, I'm not, about, I'm gonna, not going to run with you. Like if you're dragging my arm or whatever, we're not going to run together. I'm going to be dead weight. So if you're going to get me, you're going to have to really get me. Because I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be going to go to your basement and get my limbs and shit cut off. I'm not doing that. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go in and um, call my daughters or whatever and tell them good night and stuff like that and, and call it a night. But I just wanted to share Rambo with y'all. Yeah, you can watch it. Uh, it was a good movie. Like I said, it was very graphic and I, I didn't appreciate the um, ending. Only just because I felt like he should have got the whole operation. But he got a lot of them. So, But the little girls that was actually there, they didn't get a chance to go home. So, um yeah that was my take on it it was cool would i watch it again nope